In question 11, we are told that figure 5 shows part of the lighting circuit in house. State two errors in the wiring of the circuit. First of all, when we study this, we find that we must bear in mind that the lamps in, uh, in domestic wiring must be connected in parallel to each other so that each one of them works normally. That is how we connect lamps in the house. Then there is the switch and there is the fuse. The switch must be connected to the positive or to the, the switch must be connected to the live wire. And so is the fuse. Is this the case in this connection? Let's check. When we follow the live wire like this, like this, we get to the lamp and then it is after the wire comes from the lamp as it goes to the neutral that we have the switch connected. So we can directly see that for lamp A, the switch is not connected correctly. It's not connected correctly. It's connected to the neutral instead of it being connected to the live wire. So that one is an error. Is it the case with the, the switch in lamp B? I think the switch in lamp B, I can see that this line is connected to the live wire. So I can't say anything, whether there is anything wrong here. There is nothing wrong here. Uh, let's look at the fuse. The fuse, for both of them, instead of being connected to the live, it's connected to the neutral. So you can see that is the second error. The other error is that when you look at lamp B, both the wires of the lamp B are connected to a point which is at the same potential, 240 volts each one of them. There is no potential difference across the lamp. So this lamp will not work. So because the two wires which go to the lamp are connected to the live wire. So those are the two or they are the three errors actually. But remember it's only two that were required. So number one the fuse is connected to the neutral wire instead of the live wire. Number two the switch for lamp A is connected to the neutral wire instead of the live wire. And number three Lamp B will not light since both of its terminals are connected to the live wire. They are connected to the, to the same potential, making the potential difference across the lamp to be zero. And therefore, there will be no current flowing through the lamp. Because there must be a potential difference across the component for it to work. Now, I've redrawn this circuit with a... With a with the connections done correctly. And this is how it looks like. You can see I've shifted the fuse from where it was on the neutral to the live. That's the first thing I've made. And then I've shifted the switch which was connect for lamp A. The switch was connected to the neutral. I've shifted it to the neutral, to the live wire. And of course, I've reconnected this circuit here correctly with the switch now on the live and the other wire instead of being connected to the live it's connected to the neutral so this way both lamps are connected correctly uh, with the fuses and the switches connected correctly and let's look at question 12.